Hey guys, plus these six here with another video. Uh, this is just a little update thing. Um, I know I posted a video, what was it, yesterday, telling you guys you're going to be looking forward to the British Flames of War, no, Project Flames of War British slash Canadians. Um, and that's still happening. Uh, none of this stuff has got here yet. So I'm probably going to, when stuff arrives, probably uh, do an unboxing video. Then I'm going to leave the stuff. And then wait till I get all the stuff um that I ordered and then uh then I'll probably do the project as a whole and um for the meantime I'll do the unboxing videos and I'll upload those. Um uh until I get the basis stuff that I ordered. Um and maybe I might wait a little bit longer. Um just so I can finish off the tank platoon. Or if my friend's going to give me a Sherman or something. Because like I said before, I ordered two out of the three. Or I needed four tanks. I needed a Firefly and three Shermans. I ordered two of the Shermans so far and one Firefly. So I might just wait until I then get the one more Sherman. Uh, to at least have a full platoon of tanks. That way all the platoons I'm going to be using. Um, that I have part, I'll have part of. Um, will be complete. The only things I'll need to get then are the Typhoons. Uh a carrier patrol I think and the artillery but the artillery is expensive as in money wise and kind of points wise uh, money wise if you buy it in blisters which is cheaper anyway I think um, it's like two blisters no one blister with two of the artillery pieces the 25 pounder guns comes to like twenty one dollars or something like that US dollars something like that depending on if you use eBay whatever you use um, so even if you did that 21 times 2 is 42 um, and that's cheaper than buying the box that comes with four guns um, I'm not sure if you get anything extra in the box maybe cheap or something I don't know exactly but I'm pretty sure from my understanding it's cheaper to buy the blisters so I'll slowly buy them after, but I'm probably going to then finish off the tank platoon, and then what I really want to get um, is because my birthday just passed. I'm um, hopefully um, from selling some things and uh, which I have posted in the DACA thing. So also I'll probably put the link to that below just to up update it. Uh, I'm hoping to get the Flames of War Battle Foam case to transport these guys in. It's a really, really nice case for a hundred bucks. Are you kidding me? That destroys Games Workshop. You know what? Why not? I'm going to go to Games Workshop. And we're going to look at their cases. So we're going to go Gaming. Figure Cases. For a Warhammer case, an army figure case, is a hundred bucks. And that just comes with one, two, three, four, five, six foam trays. Which this might be good depending on what army you play. Um but it's uh six foam trays that are uh I don't know how many deep or whatever, and then it comes in that huge rectangle plastic case, which I have for my uh forty K stuff. The Flames of War case it, from Battle Foam, or made by Battle Foam, so from Flame, the Flames of War website, is 100 bucks. That's not with shipping, but whatever. It's worth it. 100 bucks, and you get the awesome Battle Foam bags, which I've never had one, but I've seen everyone at my store that cares anything about their army um, use. My friend uses the, uh, gene, uh, the, the, the sorry. Games Workshop case, which works well. Um, I just, I really like that case, and I think it has a really nice, sleek, slash, army look to it, and I think it looks really cool. So, I'm hoping to get that to transport my army in. Um, it's relatively small-ish, if you know what I mean. It's nice, compact, it keeps the army in there safe. has really cool ways to open it. You can open just the top. The entire flap comes down. Um... Has pockets on the side for dice, templates, 
In the front, it has room for your books or even more templates and whatever you want. It has a strap, has a really cool patch thing so you could put the uh, the name patch or like the army patch, which I think would be really cool. If uh, afterwards, after I even get the artillery and stuff, to get one that has a um, either the British symbol or the Canadian maple leaf for the Canadians that I play. Probably the British one. And uh, maybe the name thing. Maybe I'll get my last name or something. And uh, yeah. Also, again, guys, if you want to play League of Legends with me, come on, let's play. It's amazing. It's a really fun game. I was playing it before. Uh, I'm level 10, so I'm not like amazing. But I'm good. I rock with Poppy, even though she's kind of a noob character. She's really cool. Um,. Yeah, so look forward to seeing those reviews soon. Hopefully, as soon as the stuff gets here, I'll start doing unboxings. Not in any specific order. Just whenever they come. Um, yeah. So, look forward to that, guys. Stay tuned for more videos. And, um, hopefully, this Flames of War thing works out really well. I'm excited about it. And, uh, you guys will enjoy it, too. Again. Tell your friends about my channel. Tell your your game store about my channel or something like that. To whoever you want about my channel. Get some more subscribers. Once we get to 200 subscribers, we'll be doing a giveaway. And uh, maybe make some changes to the channel. I want to get my friends involved. I want to get this to be a group effort. Um, so maybe we'll make our own little club name and shit like that. Um... I don't know. Just saying. I cursed. Oh my god. Who cares? Anyway. Probably make maybe like our own little club. They make this a really cool channel. With uh, battle reports of 40k. Hopefully even though not a lot of people uh, of us play 40k anymore. That's one of the reasons I started playing Flames of War. Um, War Machine. Hordes. Flames of War. Unboxings. Reviews. Painting things. Tips. Trades. Whatever. But it'll be cool, hopefully. I'm really hoping that it does work out. Um, I think that's pretty much it for now, guys. <clears throat> Sorry. But, um, again, stay tuned for the upcoming videos. You guys are going to really enjoy it. And I'm really excited about this project thing. You don't know how bad I want this stuff to come. I've been sitting here every day, being really bored of me, and like, oh, I just want this stuff to come so I could start. Bah. So, I'm really hoping that it gets here soon. And, uh... Hopefully by next week, at least, which kind of sucks because I start school again that week. But hopefully by this coming week after, because right now I'm on winter break. Hopefully by that week, everything will be here, uh, at least to finish off the tank platoon, all the other stuff I ordered. Um, so all I need left is the typhoons and the artillery and the like one or two other little things. And, uh, hopefully I'll get the case soon after that. And hopefully I'll at least have my base army. Which I don't want to really play as much until I get it painted. Because I want it to look really cool. Um, but yeah. Uh, I am going to have a painting tutorial up for them. Because I thought of a really cool way of painting the British. Very simple. And very effective, I think. So you guys will enjoy that, hopefully. And it could be a way you might want to maybe paint, uh, for you guys to play Imperial Guard. I don't know. It's just kind of a way to paint the army drab. Um, it's going to be a tan with a kind of greenish helmet. Uh, black boots and stuff. Maybe a little, maybe brown. That might work better. I'm not sure. We'll see. Um, so, yeah. Stay tuned, guys. Remember to comment, like, subscribe. Leave suggestions below. Check the link below for the DACA post. And whatever stuff I have up there if you're interested. It's kind of getting really thin and uh, I don't have as much on there as I should or I guess really you shouldn't you shouldn't have that much stuff they have to get rid of all of it but uh yeah talk to you guys soon uh peace out